this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add background music to your videos and make them really awesome. So with iMovie, it's really easy to add background music. In fact, iMovie comes preloaded with a huge library of music that you can use. Of course, if you have your own soundtrack, then you can import it into iMovie and use it. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use the default stuff. To add your background music, you have two options. You can use an actual song or a song that is published by an actual artist or you can use jingles. Now if you want to use an actual song and you already have that song in your iTunes application, then you can just click on iTunes over here and you can look for the song that you want to use. Now when you have found the song, you can preview the song over here and you can also select only certain portions of the song by clicking and dragging if you want to use the entire song then make sure the entire song is selected and you can press E or you can just drag and drop the song over here if you're using an actual published song then a word of caution over here it's okay to use a song when you are merely producing home videos or videos that are just going to be viewed by a very limited number of people but if you plan to upload this video to YouTube I strongly recommend not using an actual song because you will run into copyright issues YouTube is so advanced today that when you upload your video they can automatically recognize the soundtrack used in your video and they will flag your video for all kinds of violation including copyright infringement and that could get your videos blocked either all over the world or only in certain countries so again if you're using this video for business purposes don't use an actual song you can click on sound effects and go to theme music and they have several files over here that is used by default in iMovie for the different themes that they have so you can preview the song that you want to use click on the play button and you can double click over here press E and they will be easily inserted into your video as the background music now another option is to go to iMovie and click on jingles so this is a huge library over here and you can find almost any kind of background music that you want you will note however that there are actually a few variations of the same song so in this example for 44th Street they have the long medium and short versions so if you only want to use this audio for the introduction, title or the ending credits, then you can always select the short or medium version. Now if you want to use this jingle as the background music for your entire video, then you can see that the audio files over here are quite short. So stay away from audio files that do not have a consistent level of sound. For example, for 44th Street Long, you can see that it starts off pretty loud, but towards the end, it tapers down to almost nothing okay so the problem of using a file like this as a background music is that you will have pockets of silence throughout your video instead I would recommend looking for a jingle that is more consistent as you can see in this file over here it starts off and ends off with more or less the same volume now you can click on that and the easiest way to do it is to just click E and keep clicking E until you've covered your entire video now of course the audio for your background at this point will be a bit too loud hi my name is Gopal so there are many ways you can do that you can manually adjust the volume over here just put your cursor right in the middle of the audio track click and iMovie will show you the percentage which is 100% right now and you can reduce that easily over here however this is a bit difficult to do 
especially if you have inserted the same file multiple times throughout the movie. What I prefer to do is to first select the actual video file and then click on the volume button over here and iMovie has a very beautiful function you can use is to just click on lower volume of other clips and you can see instantly that the background music has been modified so that now the audio level is much much lower so let's play that again Software like ashadi.com link tracker and if you find that the level is still too high then you can use the slider over here the only thing about iMovie is that the slider itself does not show you the percentage of the audio's uh, loudness so you basically have to make a guess on how many percentage uh, this is when you move the slider and you can see the audio has been edited in real time so this is great because when you add a title or any other type of transition over here your background music will be automatically adjusted so that's how easy it is to add background music to your video files and make them really really 